Hello YouTube, Hoosier Archer here, and uh, this is the Sunday Stump, and uh, first off, I'd like to just do, for the lack of a better way of putting it, a uh, couple of mea culpas. Uh, well, I did a Thirsty Thursday video for this past Thursday. Uh, I had, had a whole lot of errands to run early in the morning. And uh, one and not an errand, but also met a friend for breakfast, and uh, at a place that I don't know why I like it so much. It's it's decent food. Uh, it's a little bit actually more expensive than I would think, but it should be. But it's still it's pretty good, and it's just uh, like country food. It's called Huddle House, and it's quite a bit like a uh, one level up from Waffle House, but I, it would have been at Waffle House, but we don't have a Waffle House in my town. We used to have two, now we have none. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but anyway, then I came home, and in the afternoon I made my Thirsty Thursday video. And by that time, it was late for it, but I was feeling a bit peckish, so I made a sandwich and uh, put on some music and had lunch, uh, a little bit on the late side for lunch, and my phone rang. And it was a friend that needed some help. Uh, the uh, usual thing for me. I am the physically strongest person most of my friends know. So when they have things that are heavy and they need to be moved or they need help with lifting something or moving something, I get called a lot to like help move furniture in the living room when they want to clean it and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so... I went and did that, and then I, I got home and I was tired, and I uh, turned on my tablet and watched um, a movie that, uh, well, I didn't watch all of it because I just couldn't really get into it like I thought it would. It's called Sneakers, and it's got... Uh, Robert Redford and Sidney Portier and um, uh, Dan Aykroyd and a couple of other very good actors. And it's not a bad film, really. Uh, it's kind of blatant in its political viewpoints, but and that's troublesome to me, but there, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I couldn't get into it. I watched about an hour of it, and then I called it quits, and I uh, went to bed. And when I woke up in the morning, I realized, well, no, uh, when I got up in the morning, I said, well, let's see how many people watched my Thirsty Thursday video. And it wasn't on my list of videos. So, apparently, I had forgotten to upload it, so mea culpa on that. Well, also, I decided it was in the morning that I was going to do my foil pack Packet Friday video on a breakfast foil pack. Packet. Uh, and I got all the ingredients together, the, the uh, breakfast sausage, the potatoes, the onions, the mushrooms, and the eggs, and the butter, and then reached up and got out my uh, package of aluminum foil and went like this. And that's all I had. I did not realize that I actually had less than a full turn around the roll of aluminum foil left. Or I would have, when I was at the store the other day, I would have picked up a, uh, a package of it. So I couldn't do a foil packet Friday. Uh, so I apologize for that. Now, I uh, wanted to do some shout-outs. Uh, the first shout-out is to 
A-OK -okay Foraging and Adventures, Tack and Brenda, because they had uh, a uh, thousand subscriber live stream. I believe it was, yeah, Saturday, yesterday. And I was able to get, I didn't get there for, at the start, but I got there within a half an hour. Uh, I, um, to be quite honest, I, I had not slept well and it took me a while to wake up Saturday. But anyway, I got on there and um, they asked me about how my subscriptions were going. I said I was up to 229 and they went, well, congratulations. And then I believe it was uh, Pusa Studios uh, said, I'm 230. I just uh, just went over to your uh, channel and subscribed you. So there's a second shout out to Pusa Outdoors. Uh, yeah, the there were a lot of people that I'm subscribed to in that uh, live stream in the in the in the uh, what do they call that open chat? Uh, Carolina Chris, uh, Country Prepper, and Jeremiah, I guess he was letting me know that he forgave me for flaking on him. Apparently he saw my uh, apology video because he said, hey, who's your archer? How's it going? And so a shout out to Country Prepper and CP Kydex. Uh, if you need a Kydex uh, sheath, especially for Amora, uh, he's your man, uh, and he can trick it out too. Uh, he'll work diligently to get it just exactly the way you want it. So, definitely a shout out to him. Uh, I'm not going to put li links to all these station, these channels in the description box, um, because, to be quite honest, that's more work than I want to put in. That, hey, uh, it's my day off. I'm going to. Take it kind of easy. Uh, there was one, we think. Oh, I wanted to do a shout out to uh, Kaylin Strain. She has put in on Tack and Brenda's giveaway or gift away. I don't know if they're calling it giveaway or gift away. But she's paying it forward to uh, Joran Jägerberg, Jadenberg, I, I think is his last name. And he, uh, he subscribed to me and I subscribed to him. I like his channel a lot and you need to check it out. He, uh, I can't remember exactly which one of the Scandinavian countries he lives in, but it's some of the outdoor scenes that he films are positively breathtakingly beautiful uh, my uh, it, it, it bothers me that in my travels I never went uh, to northern Europe I, I really wanted to I, I might still have a chance to go see the highlands of Scotland and maybe go to Norga Estas de, um, anyway Norway I was, I don't remember the full name that the, they call it there, but it's Norga. And I, what I want to go to Norway for is I want to tour the Hella Knife Factory because they make some fantastic knives. Uh, think of a Mora knife on steroids or just tricked out to the limit. Uh, they make uh, some of the best Pucos and uh, I believe it's pronounced Luella's that I've ever seen. They make a lot. They make a lot of different knives uh, of different sizes. And uh, anyway, I'm I like the knives very much. Uh, On a side note, 
while I've got your attention. Uh, maybe we can do a trade, or maybe you'll, you want to buy it outright. I don't know, but I found that I have some an extra something that redundancy really doesn't matter, and that's actually an Otterbox Defender case for a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. This is brand new in the package. It is the case and the belt holster. Uh, these sell for about sixty dollars in most stores and I'll make you a good deal on it or I'll trade for something if you have an otter if you have a note 8 and have had trouble finding these um, I'm not exactly sure how I I don't exactly remember how I got an extra one but I do have an extra one because As you can see, my Note 8 has an Otterbox case on it. It also has the Alpha Glass. But, if you're interested, uh, my email is my channel name at yahoo.com. So, exactly like it is in my channel name. All lowercase, all one word. Who's your Archer at yahoo.com. I wanted to put it on my about page, but I can't seem to edit my about page right now, and I don't know why. Okay, uh, a little bushcraft stuff now. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a mushroom, a wild mushroom expert. Uh, I have studied wild mushrooms. And I do know more about them. Getting a little warm for the hat for some reason. Maybe the temperature's going up outside. Beg your pardon. Uh, I do know more about mushrooms than the average guy on the wild mushrooms than the average guy on the street. Uh, but there's a couple of standard type warnings I want to share with you. One. If you don't know for sure, and I mean absolutely positively, what a mushroom is, don't even touch it. You would be amazed at how little contact it takes with a, soup, with a toxic mushroom for it to ruin your whole day, and how little you'd actually have to eat of a of some of the nastier ones. And I would also like to point out, and I hope this doesn't frighten you to the point where you'll never try to look for wild mushrooms, but the ones that are poisonous, most of them kill in pretty horrible ways. It's not a painless death by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I do know of one gentleman who swore up and down that he knew what the mushroom he was eating was. He took one bite and said, that doesn't taste right. And then he went absolutely positively out of his mind in terror and pain and died. That was an, actually a, uh, a distant relative of mine. So, uh, but anyway, there are plenty that are safe and are easy to learn. There's even the foolproof, foolproof three. And the foolproof three are inky caps, puff balls, and sulfur shelves. I don't personally care for the flavor of sulfur shelves, but a lot of people do like them. But inky caps are rather nice sautéed in butter with a little salt and pepper and chive. And so, and, uh, so are puff balls. And the good thing about inky caps and puff balls is you can find those in your front yard. Or your neighbor's front yard. Or your backyard. Or your neighbor's front yard. They grow along sidewalks underneath trees. They're, um, and how you know inky caps is... Uh, they're just like a white mushroom. We'll look them up.
but when you scratch them, it turns black like ink. They, uh, one of the things that kids used to do in the country is pick an inky cap and with a sharpened, like a toothpick sharpened stick, draw on them because of that reaction. But anyway, here's the second warning. I know for a fact with the three, the foolproof three and several other wild mushrooms, they are eminently edible and they are not toxic at all. But if you add alcohol in any way to the recipe, if you put a dash of sherry in as they saute or a, a brandy or a wine, the alcohol mixes with the chemistry of the mushroom and makes it toxic. Admittedly, probably mildly so, it won't kill you, but why do you want to be ill? For, de for a couple of days, probably. Uh, so it's just better to, I know there are plenty of recipes uh, for domesticated mushrooms that talk about, you know, sherried mushrooms, brandied mushrooms, a little drop of wine in the saute, but leave that out when you're dealing with wild mushrooms. Uh, I don't think it matters with morels, but why take a chance? Time to take a little slurp of uh, Oh, that's... I'm going to buy that coffee again. Uh, Keurig, uh, well, it's a K-cup from a... Um, oh, gosh. Brain... Brain flatulence. Uh, I can't remember the... And I can't see the box. But it's a... Uh, Italian roast. My cousin told me about it. They sell it at uh, Tractor Supply. Or, I mean, not Tractor Supply. Rural King. Rural King. I still can't remember the name. Well, anyway, it's pretty good coffee. Uh, speaking of coffee, a.k.a. caffeine... That'll bring me to my next topic. Uh, I think this is a, something that it would be a good addition to a bug out bag or a 72 hour kit or a bug uh, or a survival kit even or a get home bag or a inch bag or a just a, for EDC. And I just have two examples here. Uh, I have these examples because these are ones that I've used and tried. Um, one of them is a fairly new company, and it's called Eternal Energy. Uh, this has about the this is about equivalent to a standard strength five hour energy shot. Uh, the Selling point of this one, however, is chemically it's almost identical to a standard strength 5-hour energy shot, but it's about half to a third uh, as much in price. It's it's an act. It's a uh, six of these sell at Walmart for I can't remember if it was 448 or 488, and six standard strength. Five-hour energy shots sell for about fourteen dollars, so fifteen dollars. And but the one that I use most often and like the best is the five-hour energy shot extra strength. This has three hundred and twenty milligrams of caffeine, and if I'm not mistaken, that's pro that's either two or three, the equivalent of two or three cups of coffee. And it also has, why I like energy shots is that 
one of the ways they give you energy is through uh, fairly high doses of B vitamin, complex B vitamins. And the way B vitamins give you energy is they cause the synapses in the brain to fire more effectively and faster. So your uh, mental acuity increases, your situational awareness increases, and your ability to keep your train of thought on the track increases. At least that has been my experience. Your mileage may vary. Uh, caveat on these. Try them before you're in uh, a high-risk situation. Find out how your body reacts to them. Perhaps you don't realize that you're sensitive to caffeine or that you're sensitive to B vitamins because you've never tried one of these. And you, and you only drink one cup of coffee a day because you don't seem to need more than that. Well, there, I'm certain that there are, would be times in a bug out situation or an escape and evasion situation or a 72 hour emergency situation where you aren't going to be able to uh, fire up your stove or build a fire and make a brew, but you're going to need the benefits of caffeine and even the B vitamins and a, a, like a five hour energy shot or a, uh, there are other companies, Redline makes a seven hour, uh, but I've never tried that so that's why I didn't have a, a bottle of it, but uh, and there's others as well. I, I, I don't get anything from five hour energy, I don't get anything from eternal energy these are just ones that I, one that I am a regular user of and one that I just tried for the first time and that's why I have these bottles and, can, and I can recommend both of them. Uh, I will, uh, but, I sh but I certainly do believe they belong in a, a go bag of any kind for the reasons that I've stated. Uh, one thing I'll tell you about this one is, well, I'll, in comparing this to re even regular strength, uh, five hour energy, uh, I noticed something with this that doesn't happen with this. Uh, five hour energy, you get a lift and then it's kind of sustained for, like they say, five hours and I've had it last, as that, that lift last as long as seven hours, but then it slowly tapers off. So that by eight hours it's pretty much completely out of your system, but you don't notice this sudden crash or thud. This one gave me the lift, and at about four and a half hours it started to taper off. And at about five and a half hours there was a crash. I mean literally just hood nothing like you took your foot off the gas and uh, so that's one thing to the negative of this but it was gentle in the way that the lift occurred which I like uh, there's one energy shot I think it's stacker something or other uh, that one goes from 0 to 60 in like 10 minutes um, I don't really care for that quick zip up into the lift. This is more subtle in the, in the lift, and this is more subtle in the lift. But the lift gets there, you have it, you know, like that. Uh, I also saw, uh, I didn't, uh, I just saw it in, in a, like a print ad on, in passing. But they now make, uh, in tins that look like snuff tins, pouches like like snus or snuff pouches, but they actually have coffee and caffeine in them. You can put them between your cheek and gum and get your coffee hit. If I see those in the store, I'm going to try them. But uh, I don't know anything more about them than what I just said. As I said, I saw it in passing. It was a print ad in a magazine that somebody else was reading. I, but it was all written big enough that just walking past I could read it. It says coffee and caffeine in a pouch 
for and in a tin for easy carry when you can't get your cup on or something like that. Cup, get your cup or something like that. Um, but anyway, well, I'll look into that and let you know. Well, that's going to do it for this Sunday stump. I hope you found some of this stuff uh, interesting. That you'll take my uh, expression of opinion with a little grain of salt, maybe. But trust me when I tell you that if I give you opinion and an opinion, that it is a considered opinion. I did I think about everything before I actually say it. Uh, and this was the first time I actually made a list of points, and I think my video went a little more smoothly than it sometimes does. That's going to do it for this Sunday Stump. I think this uh, is something that I'm going to keep doing. And I hope you all have a, had a great weekend. Uh, endeavor to persevere in the week to come. God bless, happy trails, and watch your top knot.